This was a cute little ride. But this guy's got a 1960s Jaguar in his garage. What do you mean, full presentation? It's just my dad. You sure he can't come, Missy? Leslie? Not tonight. It's your graduation dress. Your moment. Besides, we've got algebra class in half an hour. We've got to run. Yeah, and we can't be late again. Yes, my daughter's supposed to show me a big surprise. After that, I'll meet you at Clancy's pool room. Yeah, about a half hour. I gotta go. Lady in black. I knew this day would come. Charlie Jones, you've had a good run. Keep your hands on the desk. Don't open any drawers or make any sudden movements. Well, nothing makes a point stronger than a girl with a gun in her hand. So, tell me, how much am I worth? Well, even if you offered to double it, it wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> you can't kill a guy for trying that. That, that. that was a joke. No, seriously, what's my value? 35. 35? I've had bums kill for more than that, not even 50? I don't know if you noticed, but the economy's pretty bad. The economy? What the hell does that have to do with it? Any last words? Thank them for sending me the prettiest angel of death I've ever seen. I will. Sorry, Cindy. I didn't get to go to my graduation either. Hello, Mr. Montgomery. Hello, surfer girl. Looks like you're gonna be hitting Redondo at sunup. Yep, I'll be riding the waves tomorrow. The radiation and poison levels are low enough for me. Don't stare. You might get yourself in trouble. Pardon me, Terry, this is Sam. Hello. I don't like the beach. The ultraviolet rays were bad enough in the old days. Come on, Sam. Be nice to the receptionist. We like Terry. She's cool. Darling, have the others arrived? Yeah, they're already waiting for you. Good. Would you please announce us? Of course. Thank you. Mr. Montgomery and Sam are here. Send them right in. Would you like a cup of coffee or a bottle of water for your meeting? Samantha. Lovely girl. But we can't leave any traces behind. You know something, Sam? I don't think you should be taking those outside jobs anymore. I heard about that gangster. Did you have to kill the daughter, too? Mr. Montgomery? My sisters and I train to be assassins, so 
We don't mess around. We practice, and then we go out and use our guns. It's kind of like in the military. We get restless. I think you're playing with fire, dear. And I would hate to see you get burned. Excuse me. This is to be a peaceful summit. I'm here to make sure it stays that way. Of course. Sam. Meet Mr. Talbert and Mr. Reynolds. Hi, boys. We've been waiting for you. Guns on the table, please. We're all gentlemen and gentle women, aren't we? I understand you want to speak to me concerning the uh, underground and what you're doing to protect the president. Mr. Talbot didn't say anything to you. Good. Talbot and I have secret assassins who will ensure that President Medusa remain president. Sam here is a perfect example. Take a look. A long one. I'm a human agent for the Silicon Assassin. Goddamn traitor! He, he wants to take down Medusa and the Underground. Well, looks like things have changed and there's no going back. So we got a Mexican standoff and no decent tequila. I'd hope that we could settle this situation peacefully, but... <laughs> peacefully. Now I'm gonna have to warn you. Beware of the Silicon Assassin. <laughs> Samantha? Did you see what direction it came from? I have no idea. I'm gonna shoot on the left side. You take the right. I did warn you. The Silicon Assassin's agents are everywhere. 